Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to another From the Depths tutorial, Active Defenses, and this time Ring Shields. So you would have seen before my uh, video on shield projectors, or at least like I have done one, and if you haven't seen it, you're allowed to see it, it's okay, uh, but now you're watching this one. Well done. That was the worst intro I've ever done. Anyway, so this is the other uh, kind of shield in From the Depths, uh, as opposed to shield projectors, which is these things. Ring shield! So they're a more recent addition to the game, and by recent I mean they were added months or years ago, and I generally don't use them. I am kind of a shield Luddite in From the Depths. I don't particularly like shield projectors, and I don't particularly like ring shields either, so bear in mind, uh, there's the disclaimer that I am horribly biased, uh, which might mean that I'm using them completely wrong. Who knows? Anyway, so what is a ring shield? What does it do? Uh, well, as opposed to planar shields, which project a kind of uh, mystical energy barrier that occasionally stops stuff, um, ring shields just increase the armor value of blocks of whatever craft they're on. So here we have the smallest kind of ring shield available, which is just a 3x3 three three, uh, loop. Uh, it consists of two kinds of blocks. Um, you have the shield uh, generator itself, which is the cool block for ring shields. Once a ring is completed, it will power up and provide an improved armor class to the front, back, sides, or top, bottom, outermost blocks uh, based on its rotation. The larger the ring, the bigger the effect. This effect can be stacked with multiple rings. Why did my phone go, go bzzzt? That's wrong. I don't want that. Um, and then the straight pipes are just what finishes off the ring. So, uh, handy UI uh, for, like, what this is all about. Uh, shield projectors are turned off if a shield generator exists on the vehicle. They cannot coexist. Uh, shielding rings continue to armor class of blocks against projectiles and lasers. Shielding is split into three axes, forward, backward, right, left, up, down. If a projectile is coming in exactly on one of these axes, then uh, its AC will be buffed entirely using that axis. Otherwise, the buff will come from a weighted combination of all three, depending on the direction. Shield buff contains... Uh, uh, sorry. Shield buff depends on the area contained within the shield ring, the length of the ring contributes to the area, broken or incomplete shield rings provide no buff, and the ion pipe on the generator's upward surface must be within the area of the ring or the ring's area will not be correctly calculated. So, basically, the hole that you see here, uh, that hole that's there, it needs to be... It needs to be pointing up into the area of the ring shield in order to work properly. So just be aware, uh, there's no kind of UI indication of it, but this, uh, that hole on top, that needs to be pointing uh, into the area of the ring shield, uh, which is uh, quite handy. So, this is a about as small as ring shields can get, and since this thing is orientated with the area pointing forward and back, uh, that's where the hole is pointing, it is giving an armor boost to structural blocks on uh, the front and back of this fortress. So here it actually says right here we've got a piece of wood uh, which is normally has an uh, armor class of 8 but it's been boosted to 11.9 because this area of ring shield uh, adds 3.9 armor class. So there are well actually it's not just structural blocks it's uh, all blocks actually which is kind of handy um, but uh, there are fast diminishing returns here so if you have this little ring shield, which I'm going to very quickly prefab, like so, uh, adds 3.9 armor class, you'd think it would add an extra 3.9 for... what is that? It is 7.8, I think. Nope, so it is dramatically uh, reduced returns, not 7.8, it is 4.8, so it's about... what is... yeah, so it's like 0.9 or something like that. So let's... Yeah, so it just adds 0.9 armor, so uh, you really don't want to kind of go completely nuts with the ring shields because you get dramatically decreasing uh, returns uh, for every one uh, that you put, so it's not super good. Uh, yeah, so they don't, they don't uh, scale linearly, they scale in another term that's probably math. Alright, so, they do eat a lot of engine power, so this tiny little 3x3 thing is taking 210 uh, power. Uh, it is 
not particularly good for anything that has a high armor penetration. Anyway, to give you an example of that, I'm going to construct a railgun shell, and not a particularly powerful one. So here, one, two, and just gonna go with an armor piercing head, and two solid bodies. Uh, so this is already uh, 30, and then if you add 1,000 railgun uh, draw to that, uh, the armor pierce is like 60. So, late game, ironically, ring shields aren't very good because, like, just various projectiles just do so much damage. And, um, particularly with things like railguns or lasers, they have such high armor penetration values that this gets less useful. Basically, this, all this is really good for, for making, um, uh, well, for example, wood. Um, it goes from being made of paper to being made of stiff cardboard. So, like, yeah, and if you really want to get a huge uh, armor buff increase, let's actually see, can we get this? Let's try and use all our freaking energy, see how we, see how we get to. So, is plus 10, and I think it's, yeah, 10.2. So now it's uh, from 8 to 18.2, which is alright, I guess. Uh, but that's a lot of ring shields, and um, it is using... 210, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 times uh, 210 is, yeah, it's somewhere between, it's like, I'm rounding it down, like, like, four, four and a half thousand power, um, for an armor boost uh, that an armor piercing shell will ignore anyway. It is not hard to make a shell or a laser that does 20 AP. Now, if this was metal though, that would uh, that'd be kind of different. Um, yeah, because uh, this is a little bit harder to crack, and if you have heavy armor, for instance, now that is an AP of 70. But still, like, is it... I think it's really coming through that I'm not a fan of ring shields. It's just they do not feel... Uh, they do not... well, they're optional. They are optional, uh, but unlike shield projectors, you do have to kind of leave space within your craft uh, to make them, because the bigger they get, uh, the um, like the more effect they have. So if we just do this, one, two, three, and remembering that it was a 3.9 uh, buff before, now it's going to be a little bit more. So now it is a 5.6 buff, so it's like we had an area of 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, larger area, and now it's a uh, bigger AC buff. This is another reason I don't like these things, is because they take up a lot of space. So ideally, you'd want that kind of armor buff for things that don't have much armor and just want to give them a wee bit of a boost without um, making them too much bigger or uh, making them too expensive, except these things are, uh, they're not, they're not incredibly expensive, like this whole setup I think is, uh, uh, let's see here, let's just quickly calculate how expensive this is, is this more or less expensive than a planar uh, shield projector? Load, place all is 210, it's twice the cost of a planar shield projector, but it gives a nice, concrete, reliable result. It gives a boosted, uh, boosted AP, like so. Uh, yeah, but um, there is one major problem with these. Like, everything I've said, like, I've been roasting these things um, for, like, you know, continuously, relentlessly, non-stop. There is one significant problem with them, which is the main reason I don't use them, is that these things have to be deep in your craft. It is best to protect them because, well, they're delicate anyway. So if you look here, uh, a health of 100 armor 4 and the uh, pipes are no better. They will die if something so much as sneeze at them. So you've got to protect them. You've got to keep them deep in your craft. But they are extremely volatile. Like, really volatile. Like, to give you an idea of just how volatile these things are, here is a very thick layer of metal. And uh, over there, on my UI, we have a death ray. Let's see that. Uh... So, uh, you'll notice that uh, in the ring shield UI, it says it's charged with X amount of energy, which in this case is quite a lot. I don't think that ever stops. Um, so yeah, uh, this happens if, uh, if it gets broken. 
That thing just went through... Let's just count how many layers of metal that was. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 layers of metal just like... Pop! Nothing. This is really a problem. It's like really, really a problem because it means that uh, these things are best arranged in a way that if they do get broken, they don't actually gut your entire ship because they can and will do that. I've had problems with that whenever I've used them. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's actually a serious risk because even a small one, if it's charged with energy, will kind of, you know, put a hole straight through your ship if it gets damaged in, like in any way. It's a problem. And some of you might have already uh, been expecting this, but in a bizarre twist, these are a defensive mechanism. They're supposed to be, like, for defense, to buff your armor, stuff like that. They make better weapons than they do defenses, because it is not difficult to have something... What is that? Let's go back to our shell here. Let's just go here. You can have a vehicle set up uh, to uh, have a, say, an advanced cannon do this and have something like this and so this is a very short thing. Let's see, uh, that is 105 armor. Does this do? It does. You can have a tiny little A thing there. And I'm going to set up a little ACB right here. And you can have this trigger for whatever reason you like. So you could have if uh, this thing is pointed at the enemy, you can have if enemy is within a certain range, it then fires a weapon. So go here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. And fire. Although in this case, I'm just going to... Let's put a delay on this. Let's see. Uh, effect delay. One second. And let's see. Will this work? Yep. So there, that's how we fire um, a ring shield and just, you know, make a lovely mess of things. And this has to, of course, uh, be used with repair bots or repair tentacles. So they go over there and then they repair the whole thing. Then they're, they're just gonna repair our targets right here. And then we can do this again. And it fires again. So I have seen people do this. It's actually quite clever. Because this does. You've like, you can see right there 17 layers of metal. This does huge amounts of damage, which means, weirdly enough, ring shields are more like an improvised form of particle cannon that requires way less energy. So there, that's basically it for ring shields, like, they're weird, they're weird. I really do think that um, they should be changed and to be, like, in some ways less useful, like, no, not yet, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they need to be changed in a way that makes them kind of less of a calculated risk, so... The fact that they can't be used in conjunction with shield projectors makes absolutely no sense to me, because the way they are now, neither of them are particularly good even on their, like, on their own and in conjunction. I really don't see how that makes them, like, imbalanced. Um, and also the fact that ring shields are so volatile, it means that you're almost better off not having them, because your ship survives better without them. I forgot how cute repair bots are. They're so cute. Um, yeah, because uh, if you get unlucky and you get a heat or hash shell uh, getting you in the innards or an armor-piercing shell, jeez, like armor-piercing uh, rounds in From the Depths are no joke, be they cram or APS. Uh, they can sail straight through layers of armor and hit you right in the ring shields and then uh, the ring shields blow up and then you're dead and that's bad. So, yeah. Ring shields, man. They're, uh, they're a risk. They are a risk. So, hopefully that is helpful. Hopefully, if nothing else, you know how to make a little uh, sneaky vehicle that uses an ACB setup to fry things with ring shields. 
Um, you could actually, you know, make suicide craft uh, with that. That, you know, just put an energy bolt straight through uh, capital ships and stuff like that. There's ideas. Like, they're, you, they can be useful, just not for the thing they're supposed to be useful for. So on that silly note, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Let's just do this one more time because it's hilarious. Yep, there we go. Farewell!